Jesus has said that when we do for other people, we do for him. And one of the ways that we can give as an offering to God is to help other people in our community. Um, a couple of years ago, I approached the Clinton schools to see if there's something we could do for them, thinking that they might need new markers or crayons or paper for the kids. Um, it turns out what they really needed was clothes for the kids. They, some of these kids, they don't even have enough money to bring a spare pair of clothes to, to school. And it's elementary school. Accidents can happen. Um, I don't know if you can remember back to your elementary days, um, the mortification and embarrassment if you have an accident or maybe you're out on the playground and your pants get ripped. And it's good to have something you can change into. So the Clinton Schools is collecting uh, new sweatpants for boys and um, leggings for girls and new boys and girls underwear in sizes 6 through 16 that the kids can wear and change into. And we have a collection bin here that's right outside the office door. And you can just put them in there. Or if you prefer to give cash, you can just mark your tithe envelope for the Clinton schools. And um, I'll go out and purchase what they need. And in the past, the teachers have had to provide this for the kids out of their own paycheck. And as you know, teachers don't earn a ton of money. So this is a way that we can really help our community. I have been out of elementary school for a while, but I can remember a day where I took a tumble on the playground and it had rained and this was the days before they wouldn't let you go outside. And I was a muddy soaked mess and we were by no means wealthy. And my mother was able to bring me in because of she worked at home, a pair of clothes to change into and what a relief that was and what a relief it would be if kids had that option at Clinton school. So this is a wonderful ministry. If you get a chance, please give to it. Uh, we want to make sure that we're as clear as we can be about the different collections we're doing. So please, if you can support Don's mission with the Clinton schools and our mission, it's a wonderful form of outreach that puts us a footprint, gives us a footprint right here in our local community. I got up front and talked about a couple that I'm involved with. And so I want to make sure I'm clear on what's going on with those. The first one is a South Lancaster Academy Crusaders Close Fund Drive. If you need a flyer, we can give you a flyer. We can include it with the email. It's out in the foyer. Whatever you need to make sure that you are as clear as possible is available. So what we need you to do, if you are interested in donating to that, is take, get a good quality garbage bag. The more pounds you put in it, the better the bag. You can get the simple kitchen bags that carry, you know, 10 to 12 pounds if you're not putting a lot of heavy stuff in there. But get a quality garbage bag put your clothes inside there and make sure that you bring it to the church downstairs by the coat racks just before the fellowship hall put them right there and i will collect them it is helpful if you send me a text message or an email that says you have done so so i know to look but i will look on a weekly basis and take what is there and set it up for the crusaders at south lancaster academy clothing drive if you can, we'd appreciate you doing that. An even more important one to do is making sure people are warm in the winter, not only at Clinton schools, but all around. If you have any stuff that you can donate, maybe you have an older, nice, solid hat. This is my winter walking hat. This thing is gold right here. So I will not be donating that one. I'll be donating others. I have other good ones too, but that's just an old favorite. If you've got a pair of gloves, if you've got an old coat, something that you don't use anymore. And I imagine most of us can look in our closets and look at stuff that, when's the last time I put that on? When's the last time I wore that? A hoodie, a sweater, anything warm weather. Please put that also in a quality bag and make sure that you let me know that you want me to take that specifically. Downtown Worcester, downtown Clinton, someplace where there are homeless people to distribute to, to them directly or to give it to the homeless shelter that I work with in Worcester. Either way, please let me know that that's what you're giving it for. The first one that we're doing is the South Lancaster Academy Crusaders clothing drive. The second one, the warm weather clothing drive that I've been doing for years. And after September, remember that we have the bin, hey, I got it right, the mm -hmm. bin out down by the ramp. If you go down the ramp, you'll see that there is a blue bin, you can put all your textiles in there, whether it's good clothing, whether it's old socks that are no longer good, maybe it's an old dish towel that's just got worn down. Instead of throwing those away, take 
bundle them up, put them in there. Proceeds from that go to help us out. We use that for things such as the Clinton Public School, our Thanksgiving baskets, other stuff like that. We've taken enough of your time, but we appreciate your donations. And as Don so eloquently put, this is how we reached the least of these. Take care of others. If you have any questions, please let us know. And thank you so much for being such a generous community. We appreciate it.